All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Volkswagen Polo GTI 2022 version. And in this video, we will make the test drive. So I will give you my feedback on how is to drive this new Polo GTI. Also, I will have a separate video full review on my channel, interior, exterior, technical data, everything about the car. Check out on the channel. The video probably is there. If it's not there, click the subscribe button to see the notification when the video will come out. And yeah, don't miss it out because there you find more information about the car. In this video, we will try to drive and give you the, the feedback on driving. Anyway, this is the key, a very simple key. So Volkswagen still keep this uh, classic key that we have it on the previous version. What you can do with the key, lock and unlock the car. Uh, it comes also with keyless entrance. This is a good thing. And also it comes with uh, electric folding mirrors, as you can see here. This is really good. Also, you can unlock it by having your hand here. Very, very simple. Other than that, I want to point out the fact that the car usually come with 17 inch rims wheels as standard but they already changed the winter tires so keep in mind we have different rims and different tires we have right here 16 inch tires a lot of gummy that mean uh, better comfort over the bumps normal brake this on the rear red brake caliper this is good it looks nice also in the front red brake caliper a little bit bigger ventilated brake discs more info about the car check out the other video guys let's go inside gti here at the entrance aluminium pedals and also we have manual adjustable seats but lovely seats with red insertion stuff material seats as you probably know volkswagen makes super super nice seats i really like the seats from volkswagen also manual handbrake this is great i know people that want to buy a sporty car they will love to see this manual handbrake right here the price of the car here at amag in bern if you're in switzerland around switzerland check out amag in bern guys they have a lot of cars here also great price and for example this one uh normally the price as new it's forty two thousand sixty francs but because this is a demo it's like a test car uh, it has 2800 kilometer you can see there and the price is 38,900 francs pretty good price anyway more details in the review video so stay tuned guys if you don't know the car come with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders dsi 207 horsepower with dsg seven speed automatic transmission and um, yeah more information i will give you also in the uh, review video i will leave this in the back here let's put the seat belt also i love this uh, steering wheel from volkswagen they use it also on the golf this gti and r and this is incredible the steering wheel it's awesome new logo press the brake press the start engine button and the car it's on right now also we have this a stalk here kind of the stick they keep this stick uh, to to make you feel much more sportier and i like that different driving modes the car come with four different driving modes let me give it a little bit of seconds to load in the navigation system it comes with four different driving modes. look at this it comes eco normal sport and individual on the individual you can customize the way you want it you go here to change and you can customize uh, every single for example steering uh, sport suspension because it comes with dcc dynamic um, uh, chassis control drive here sport eco normal engine sound sport and yeah you can customize the way you want it first of all we will start in eco mode it comes with a new cockpit incredible cockpit check out the other video there you can see how many ways you can customize it it's super super awesome you can see also the navigation all over the screen if you want to it's it's a great great cockpit and also it's an amazing steering wheel with grip even here on the side so anyway let's drive it if you go in reverse the car come also with the reverse camera very clear reverse camera i like it very much i i think it's it's just perfect six parking sensors in the front in the rear going in drive guys and from drive if you press it and you go one more time you go directly in sport and you don't have to press the button so that's something to keep in mind but anyway let's drive it in normal mode right now first impression very very good position on the seats i know volkswagen they are very good with the seats because i own a few cars from volkswagen group and i know they are great the seats are incredible good and you never have back pain or stuff like that so i really appreciate that i like the position of driving also the side support here in the back they are great very good visibility also what i notice is that 
the suspension are quite stiffer even in eco mode so you really feel that sporty feeling the steering is softer by the way in uh, in eco mode in sport mode will be a little bit stiffer it's quite silent inside the sound insulation in Volkswagen cars um, it's good it's nothing to complain there also what I notice is that the car it's feel it feels very light and very agile even in look at this even in eco mode and also this seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission is doing a very good job probably you already know it over the bumps as I said it's stiffer as as an sporty car so as expected but um, that doesn't bother me too much to be honest it's really good that you feel the ground Ten point six meter is the turning radius of the car. Six point five seconds zero to one hundred. Two hundred forty kilometer per hour is the maximum speed. The only thing that I wish the car to have it's an auto hold because it doesn't have auto hold. You have to always have your foot on the on the brake on the stop signs. And if I'm not wrong, it doesn't have it. Start stop system, it's work. Yeah, it's it's in, in echo mode, it's changed the gears faster, so it gives you a nice normal driving feeling, you know, like uh, an echo you can see. But it's it's quite you see before, it's quite agile and it's so rapid, even in echo mode, it's just boom, it's a front wheel drive system. It's quite quite rapid even in, in eco mode and if we change the driving mode if we go to normal mode will be even more um, responsive and the gear will change a little bit later but let's go in sport because I think most of you are here for sport mode the steering it's stiffer now I already feel that and also I can hear a more aggressive sound really push you back on the seat a little bit when you accelerate even though it's only a front wheel drive system wow it has a good grip even with those 16 inch tires on the curve stays really good so the handlings are great I like the control of the car wow I like it I think this car in a combination I would love to see this car four-wheel drive Polo GTI I think will be amazing it's already really good like this The car comes with the new travel assist that you can activate from the steering wheel here and you can select the speed for example here to 80 let me show you and then the car will keep the lane for you let me go on the right side I don't want to bother the other so let's go here it's set to 80 and the car right now should hold the lane for you, should accelerate look at this and also we can go to 100 here and the car will accelerate to 100 and it will stay between the lanes and also hold between the lanes and this travel assist, the new travel assist from Volkswagen it's pretty good on the highway is doing a great job so from my point of view it's, it's perfect here look at this look at this it's doing it's doing fine 
it's not as Tesla perfect but it's doing quite good yeah let me take the control guys I want to go out here and I want to test out also the acceleration a little bit I like the sound, the sound it's, it's quite nice and also the way it's changing the gears downsiding it's, it's that nice sporty sound and it's very it's it's quite silent the sound insulation it's it's really good try an acceleration wow wow it's good it's good it's good I like it. 6.5 seconds, 0 to 100. Quite nice. Quite aggressive. I like the car. It's so light. It's so easy to drive. Handlings are good. Suspension and comfort on the seat, it's good. Even though they are uh, manual adjustable seats, the comfort, it's, it's great. estimated consumption 5.6 liters now depend how you drive depend on the temperature depend on many factors now the car is just rolling so the consumption will be close to none now at 100 you hear a little bit of noise from outside yeah we have 9.5 liter consumption until now brakes feel good, the pedals feel smooth and nice nothing, could, nothing to complain here nine point three liter consumption actually but I love, I love the way it stays on the, on the ground the handlings, the, the control of the car, it's great. Wow, it's so fun to drive. It's it's really fun to drive this car. You, you should try it on the on the mountain, you know, when it's left, right, left, right corners and it's easy to drive, visibility, it's gorgeous, it's agile, it's it's super super fun to drive. should definitely try it guys you have an armrest here great visibility outside on the mirrors the mirrors are small but the visibility is good and it's good that they are small because the, the air aerodynamic of the car it's much more improved here we have a big curve and the car is doing incredible good wow I love it the brakes are great as well nice 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 and 38,000 franc is not that much for uh, what this polo gti offer very easy to drive very agile Great, great handlings even with those winter tires 16 inch I, I, I can imagine with 17 inch how it's on the road it should be incredible no 
no matter what others said, I still think Volkswagen make great cars. And I, I almost forget how is to drive a Volkswagen. I didn't drive it for a long time, but now that I drive this Polo, I kind of remember that, that, I don't know, it gives you that feeling that you trust the car. That you should trust the car and lovely. And this car has a lot of features on it in this price. I think you have the, the autopilot, the travel assist, the latest this. Uh, we should wait for this truck to pass by. And then we go left. Blind spot technology in the mirrors. All the safety features are here. Let's test again. So you can actually activate from here the travel assist and the car will accelerate, will brake, depend what car in the front will do. So you should just hold your hand on the steering wheel for the safety, but the car will do the rest for you. And it's just holding there pretty nice. Great, great, great job. The quality is great also on the steering wheel, everywhere inside here, inside the car. The quality is it's, it's quite, quite fine. Here on the upper side we have some plastic, but overall where your hands are mostly are, uh, it's soft material. So steering wheel, armrest here, here, so overall. Let's see the consumption until now. Eight point eight liter consumption, and now we go downhill and we use the same route. And you see, most of the time I drive in in a, in sport mode. Eight point six liters. And we can go back. It's great that you can go very easy back in normal mode. You just go once downhill, once down with the shifter, press the button, go down, and then you are in normal drive mode right now. It's just the car, it's rolling, 8.5 liters. I think you can get, you can get around six liter consumption. Surprisingly is that I start with two lines on the on the tank. The tank is 40 liters by the way. I start with two lines and it still have two lines and that's impressive. I mean 8.1 liter consumption. It's really good. I like I like also the pedals are very smooth and the brakes when you press them they are smooth and nice. 
Nice, nice car. Really, really, I, I really enjoy driving Volkswagen cars. I like the way they set the steering wheel and uh, the brakes, the steering and it's, it's set really, really nice. The way, the feedback to the wheels, it's, it's perfect. Also the sound, it's quite nice. Let's park it here. And that was the test drive. Let me show you the reverse camera. You go in reverse, super simple. And then let's park it just like that. Very easy, very good visibility. Also the car come with this blind spot sensors on the rear so if a car will come from the rear it will notice uh, it will tell you the resolution is not the best but it's it's very good so you have a good visibility there anyway manual handbrake that was the trip that was the test drive guys 8.2 liter consumption i hope you get some useful information from this video uh, if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the full review with the same car interior exterior technical data all the details about the car i would have a separate video on my channel if it's not already there click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out other than that guys my rating for this Volkswagen Polo GTI 2022 from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 it's almost perfect it's a good car really good car anyway the price is not that bad uh, in my opinion for what the car offer in general uh, but yeah that was the video guys if you're in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Amag in Bern I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car test drive the car or see the car also thank you very much for watching my videos don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. So thank you very much, guys. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye.